Welcome to a very short lab on ARP and proxy ARP. I'll just fix those to capitals because I'm sure I'll get an angry email of somebody if I don't do that. Quite a simple lab with three routers connected via fast ethernet interfaces, obviously a crossover cable or put a switch in between them if you don't have that. We'll add a static route to router one, sending all traffic out the fast ethernet and um, same for router three, send all traffic out. Um, if you haven't done any um, static routing yet, you can come back to this lab later or just copy my commands. The uh, network addressing is in the diagram that you saw a few seconds ago. So I'll add the dot one address to fast ethernet on router one. IP route four zeros space four zero space out of the fast ethernet interface. So that will send all traffic to any network out of our fast ethernet. So this is allowing us to reach router three without having to configure any dynamic routing. Now we'll configure two interfaces on router two, one facing R1 and one facing R3. For the uh, fast ethernet zero slash one, it's the 192 network the default subnet mask. And then on fast ethernet 0 slash 1 for router 3, I'll add our IP address dot 2 and a static route pointing any traffic for any network over to or out of the fast ethernet interface which is obviously as we know connected to R2. R2 knows where the both networks are because they're both directly connected so we don't need to put any routes on router 2. I'll just ping between router 3 and router 2 just to make sure there's no problems there. Alright. So We'll check our ARP cache now on router 1 with the show ARP command. The directly connected interface has an age and it's got a dash which means it doesn't time out. A hardware address is the MAC address. So you need to remember what the dash means. Now we'll ping router 2. There'll be an ARP lookup which is the first dot and then four exclamation marks. A show ARP shows us the entry. It's learned less than a minute ago so it's got a zero. And it's got the hardware address for fast ethernet on, on router 2 there. So we, that's the ARP part covered. And the next thing we need to do is see how proxy ARP works. We're pinging the ethernet on router 3 now. Uh, it takes a little bit longer because it's two hops away. We'll check our ARP table again. And you'll see our address. We uh, learned it less than a minute ago, but it matches the same MAC address as uh, Router 2's interface, which obviously shouldn't be the case because all MAC addresses are unique. However, Proxy ARP needs to uh, encapsulate the frame in order to send it to the next hop. And the IP address can't change, but what can easily change is the MAC address. I'll just uh, show you how the counter works in a second if it's just gone over a minute yeah and you can see the entry has gone over a minute so it's aged so that's the end of the lab thanks for watching